Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm sharing with you my Disney record collection along with my Disney record player, which I love so much. So I actually got this record player a few years ago at the thrift store I used to work at. I think I paid $14.99 for it. It was made in the 70s by Sears and I think it's adorable. It is in pretty good shape for its age. Um, it's a little bit faded on the top there, but when you open it up, it has a little sticker decal of Mickey and he's saying, hey kids, or hi kids. Um, and then it sort of, he's like the sticker reaches out and then the arm actually is his arm. So it's kind of neat. It's got his little glove and stuff that you put over onto the record to make it play. Um, it does actually work, um, but the sound sounds a little bit muffled, so there must be something going on inside. So I've really just used it for display. And then this wire um, record holder rack I bought for $5 at a thrift store around the same time, and then I just spray painted it this blue to match. And it's just a really cute display, I think. I'm a really big fan of like old vintage Disney, so... I found most of these records for like a dollar or two. I found a lot of them were at the thrift store I worked at for a while, so that's kind of where it started, and then I just kept finding more. So I'm going to go through and show you all of the records I have. As you can see, I've got a pretty big stack there. So first up, I just have some smaller records. I think they're called 45s, but I don't know if they're technically all called 45s or not, but I love the Disneyland logo like for the records. Oh, just love it. So not all of these are Disney. I think there's a few other kids ones mixed in with this, and then Marley decided she needed to be in the video. She came strutting in. So we've got Goofy's Dance Party. <laughs> I actually haven't listened to most of these before. Some of them are in pretty rough shape too, you might notice, but again, it was more so like it's only a dollar. So I went ahead and bought almost everyone I seen when I was working there. So here's one that's like a Peter Pan records, not technically Disney, but I just have them all kind of together. This Pinocchio record was the first Disney record I found. It doesn't have a, a case or anything. It was just by itself. And I remember playing this when we were just moving into a house. I had just bought a record player um, for that house. And I remember I just put that on while I was cleaning. And it was just such a happy moment. I think I posted a tour of that house like back in 2018. Um, this one is, I think technically like the song of the south soundtrack which is like disney's most controversial film i think i ended up finding another copy of this while i was looking through them because i hadn't looked at these records in years probably like not since we moved here anyway so at least over a year and so this next record i noticed has um brave little taylor on it which i loved that so much when i was a kid they have like a cartoon i think it's just like a 30 minute cartoon of it love that so much i'm guessing this is or maybe was a ride in disney world and that's why it says that but i'm completely unfamiliar with it i just bought it because it was disney and all of these first records i'm showing you don't like didn't have a sleeve with them they just were by themselves this one has the paper sleeve but now we're getting into ones with the sleeve. So this was actually mine when I was a kid. My grandma had kept mentioning that she had a CD of mine when I was a kid at her house. And I was like, no, you must be confused because CDs didn't exist when I was a kid. And then eventually she gave it to me and it's one of those books with um, like a record that plays the story. Now, when my sister was a kid, it was like tapes or sometimes they would have like a soundboard on the side of the book. You press the buttons. Um, so I thought, you know, they must have came out with CD ones later and that she was maybe confusing it with like one of my younger cousins. But um, as soon as I saw it was Winnie the Pooh, I, I knew that it was mine because I loved Winnie the Pooh when I was a kid. And I just thought it was so special that she had just kept that at her house for, I mean, over 30 years. I guess I had just forgotten it there when I visited, like in the mid 80s, which I just, 
I don't know. It means so much to me. So even if I end up getting rid of them and selling them, I would definitely just keep this one. So then we have this Cinderella one, which is also like a book, but it's big and it's a very like thick record. So it must be pretty old. And this one was in kind of rough shape. I did have to tape the outside a bit just to keep it from like falling apart completely, but I love it so much. I love how it has like the story in there with all the photos. It just, I don't know. Uh, and it was really, really cheap, like probably only $2. I think I might've found this at the thrift store I worked at. Or I wanna say that's where I found it, but it's one of my favorites for sure. Cause it's just very visually like aesthetically pleasing. And this one actually comes with not one record, but two records. So it's like four sides worth of um, audio, which makes me believe that like it must be basically like the whole movie because I'm pretty sure Disney movies run just a little over an hour. So anyway, it's pretty cool. You can see it's in pretty rough shape. I did notice that the date um, said 1949, so it's pretty old. And then I also found Snow White soundtrack, which is great. Also just really visually, aesthetically pleasing to look at. And then we've got Bambi. I also love this one. I think it's just really unique looking. Um, this is definitely one of the first ones that I found as well, because I remember this would be the first one that like it was at the very front because I love the way that it looked so then I also have this uh, Bambi one which is put out not by Disneyland Records um, but it is like Walt Disney's Bambi it's just read by Shirley Temple I think that's one side and then the other side is something different that I'm not quite remembering but I'm filming the back so you can see and I guess they had a few other ones as well that you could get. Then we have Disney's Hansel and Gretel, and this one actually was put out by the Disneyland record label. Um, I think this one's really cute too in terms of like cover art. Here is another one that I think is just really cute in terms of visual. I feel like these would make a really good like wall art like if you wanted to put them all up on the wall it would be just really cute but I don't really have a place to do that. Um, I have moved them to another area of the house that I haven't shown yet and I think that they work in that area so for now I'm just going to keep them but for a while I was thinking I should probably sell these because I never use them or anything they're just sitting here. I really love this one too. I had actually forgot that I had picked this one up until I was flipping through because I didn't even flip through them like before I got started filming. So it was a big surprise. Um, so we've got Peter and the Wolf on one side, but we've got the Sorcerer's Apprentice on the other, which is one of my favorite like Disney cartoons. Like I love Fantasia. That's one of my favorite Disney movies. I've probably watched that one more than any other Disney movie. I just love it. I love classical music so I don't know maybe that's where it started for me as a really young child watching that so here we've got another Uncle Remus I'm not sure if it's actually the same as the one that I showed earlier that didn't have a cover because I never bothered checking because I was filming but it's been a really long time since I actually watched the movie so I, I'm not even fully aware of like the depths of how bad the movie is um but from what I can remember, I know that it's bad. <laughs> I think this record is adorable. This obviously must have been like a late 70s, early 80s record. The cover and stuff is in such good condition too. I think this is so cute. This would be so cute displayed. Um, I've never listened to this one, but it makes me want to put it on just to see what the songs sound like. But this reminds me of like, I would have had a record like this when I was a kid because I was born in the early 80s. But yeah, I just think it's super cute. The back is really cute too. I forget those cows. I forget their names, but it's got Donald and Daisy on there as well. 
And then keeping up with kind of the themed records, we've got this um, partners. <laughs> um, so I'm assuming it's like country music because it says cowboy songs. I've never listened to this one either, but it definitely also has a really cute um, aspect to it. And then we've got It's a Small World. I feel like this is like a ride or a place at Disney World or Disneyland. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I feel like it's probably culturally inappropriate though, just looking at the cover. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Then we've got Country Bear Jamboree, which I'm 99% sure is a ride or like a thing at Disney where like animatronic bears play music. Um, I'm not really like all that familiar with Disney World or Land, but this one's also like a book that opens up and it has a bunch of photos and stuff. And I just think it's super cute. Or maybe it, I should say maybe it was a ride at Disney. I don't know if it still would be or not. Most of what I do know is like vintage stuff i have these vhs tapes of like plan your vacation at walt disney world but it's like from the 60s and 70s so but i just think it looks really cute and then here's a like halloween themed one which is so cute um i actually just found this recently so if you watch my hauls you would have seen it just within a few weeks ago but I think it's super cute. I actually had it out by the record player during Halloween season, but I never got around to listening to it. And then here's another one that I just found recently as well. That's, I thought it was just a birthday record, but it's actually just like a bunch of holiday um, songs on there, which I think is cute. I think this one is also one of the ones I found recently. Recently, I just found three or four, I think. Um, but this is the songs of Disney World, so I guess they play these songs at Disney World. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing they must if they call it like the soundtrack. And I'm also noticing that it says Disneyland as well. And then we've got, I think these are more like live action soundtracks. So we've got Darby O'Gill, which I'm pretty sure I have the VHS of this as well. But I'm pretty sure this one I've seen on Disney+. Plus. I really love a lot of the like old Disney live action films like from the 60s. And then we've got Mary Poppins. Oh, I love Mary Poppins too. It's been such a long time since I watched it. I haven't seen the newest one either. And then we've got another Mary Poppins soundtrack that actually has um julie and dick on the front and this one opens up and has some info in there i don't think either of these were put out by the disneyland record company but you could be wrong but i don't think so so then we've got the sound of music which was put out by disneyland records but i do not believe this like movie has anything to do with Disney. I could be wrong, but I never thought it did, but maybe I am wrong. I believe before they made it into a movie, though, it was like a stage production, like a musical play. So I'm guessing maybe, but also opens up and has a bunch of photos and stuff inside, like animated. It's very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> So then we have this one, which is missing the cover, and this is Peter and the Wolf, which I believe I already showed. Um, but this one, I'm assuming, was like the Cinderella version that I showed with the whole book, since it was two full um, records, and it sort of had the same look to it, so I'm guessing that's what that was, and someone ripped the book off. Then we've got Babes in Toyland. I think we're starting to get into like non-disney ones but they're like children so i just put them all together but this one's super cute too
And then I also have this Yogi Bear and Boo Boo um, record. I loved Yogi when I was a kid too. Um, it's a really cute cover. And then we've got this Here Comes Peter Cottontail record, which I also forgot that I had this one, but I thought, oh, at Easter time, I should put that out with my Easter decor because it's just so cute. It's like very 60s, 70s looking. I think the back of this one is very interesting too. It has a lot of different uh, facts and things about Easter. It's kind of cute really cute like illustrations to go along with it. I had also completely forgot that I had this record as well which um, I have to listen to this uh, if you are unfamiliar which I don't know how you could be but Danny played opposite in Bing Crosby's White Christmas which I feel like is what people now probably most know him for um, but he had a a very long and uh, prosperous career. Then I've got this other Hansel and Gretel record as well. So that's why I'm kind of feeling like I don't need to keep all of these records, but this was my first time seeing them in like years. I would love to find this Munsters record. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I thought, oh, that's something to look out for. Uh, then we've got this Smurfs record, which I love. I think I forgot I had this one too. Um, I loved the Smurfs when I was a kid. This would have probably been released in like early 80s. I think that's when Smurfs started. Um, but yeah, I loved the Smurfs when I was a kid. It was one of my favorite cartoons. And then I also have this Strawberry Shortcake record, which is really cute looking. I don't really remember watching Strawberry Shortcake that much, um, even though that was kind of a cartoon of the same era when I was a really little kid. I don't know. I, I like barely remember it, I should say. I feel like what I do remember is like the bad guy in the cartoon being really scary, so maybe that's why I didn't watch that much or frequently. Anyway, that is it. I've shown you all of these Disney slash child records that I've been collecting and hadn't looked at for years. So yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.